Let's welcome in our golf expert, Kyle Porter. Now, Scotty Scheffler is the favorite to win the Travelers. We just heard about his, his schedule, the way that he sets up his week. Scheffler has finished each of his last five tournaments in the top five. What has been working from him lately, and do you think he can maintain that strong play this weekend? Well, I do. It's been uh, it's been quite a trend so far this year, Jenny. You mentioned the last five, but in 14 events so far in 2023, he's only lost to 63 total golfers. You have guys that will lose to 63 total golfers in a single event. Scotty Scheffler has lost to 63 total over the uh, over the course of the entire year. And the reason for that is his tee to green play. He's number one in the world uh, in tee to green play. You'll see that here, both for this season and for this year. If you look just from January one on, he's gaining over 3.1 strokes on the field uh, from tee to green, which is an unbelievable amount. It's a tiger-like number. Just to put that in perspective, Jenny, number two on that list is Rory McIlroy, who's gaining 2.1 strokes. Uh, on the field from tee to green. So Scotty Scheffler has been a full stroke better than the second best player from tee to green since January one. And that's something that the way that Rick Gaiman and I talk about it on the first cut podcast, it's very sticky. It doesn't really change. Your putting changes over time, but your tee to green play does not. And so I think because of that, Scotty Scheffler will have another top five, top, top 10 finish this week at the travelers. 13 top 10 finishes on the season, despite just 17 starts, just amazing what he's doing out there. Now, John Rahm, he enters this week as the FedEx Cup leader with four wins this season, including the Masters, of course. Now, with a win this week, Rahm would become the first player to win five times in a season since Justin Thomas did it back in 2016-2017 season. The way things are going, it looks like he's going to accomplish that feat. But why might TPC River Highlands be a good course for him to get it done? Well, most courses have been good courses for him so far this year. He's been uh, right up there with Scheffler. It, it, you know, Rom's interesting when you compare him to Scheffler because there's been more volatility there. He's won more, but he's also missed more cuts. He's finished outside the top 25, the top 30 more than Scheffler. And actually, that's not a bad thing. You know, the, we hear these guys talk all the time about consistency, but if you're consistently, the, uh, you know, finishing third in a tournament versus if you have volatility and you're winning some and missing the cut at some, it's better to win some and miss the cut at some if uh, winning is ultimately the goal. So he's been awesome from tee to green. I think this golf course, Jenny, sets up better for him maybe than uh, LACC last week where he did finish, kind of made a Sunday run to finish in that top 25 there. Uh, he's He's been... Again, he's right there with Rory, number two from tee to green so far in 2023. They're, they're both trailing Scheffler by about a stroke, uh, but they've both been awesome uh, so far in 2023, and I expect more of the same from uh, from John Rahm this weekend. We're talking about Rory there, world number three, McElroy, coming off a solo second at last U.S. Open. His 10th career runner up on the tour, the second of this season. Kyle, how do you think he performs this weekend at the Travelers? Well, I think he's – I think – I don't think he'll play quite as well as he did last week at LACC because that is a golf course that I really feel like engendered a lot of creativity from him. A lot of the nuance that maybe sometimes gets lost on regular uh, PGA Tour courses like this one. So I don't know that I envision him uh, going out and finishing second this week. Who knows? He could go out and win it. But I do think that he has kind of played his way into some really great golf. And what I mean by that is a month ago, six weeks ago, he was kind of talking about his golf swing not being where he wanted it to. He's gradually improved that over the last five, six, seven weeks to the point where I think Rory is kind of at that top 10 lock type level right now. Again, I don't think he's going to win or finish second. He had a very emotional week last week, almost winning the U.S. Open. I don't know that this course sets up quite as great for him as LACC did, but uh, I do think Rory has kind of played his way into a swing that's going to serve him very well this summer as he tries to win this week, tries to win the Open Championship and then on to the FedEx Cup playoffs later in the season. He was so close last week, McElroy making his fifth start at the Travelers Championship. All right, let's talk about the 2022 champion, Xander Shoffley. He's defending the second of his three titles from last season. Shoffley is tied with John Rahm for the second most top tens on tour this season, but he's never successfully defended a title on tour. Do you think that this could be his weekend to repeat? I do think this could be his weekend, and I think, you know, it's interesting. He shot 62 in the first round at the U.S. Open last week, and everybody was kind of talking about, is you know, is this when he when he wins his majors? Is this when Xander gets his first one? And uh, didn't play very well on Saturday and kind of faded as the weekend went on. But I think he's going to thrive in a post-major championship 
environment. Obviously, this golf course, uh, he played it wonderfully last year. He's kind of he's kind of playing at an underrated clip right now, Jenny. You know, he he we don't we've, we're talking about Rom, we're talking about Rory, we're talking about Scheffler. You know, who, who's the best guy on the PGA Tour outside of those three right now? I think you could make the case for Xander Shoffley. It may, he might be the third best guy ahead of, of somebody like Rory if you look at the course of the entire season. So I really like where his game's at. Uh, he's been awesome from tee to green over the last five, six, seven, eight weeks. He's, he's really playing, again, at an underrated clip that I'm not sure people are realizing how good he's been over the last couple months. Phil Mickelson is the only golfer to win this event in back-to-back -back seasons. All right, before we let you go, it's time for the Geico 15. 15 seconds on the clock, Kyle. Give us your pick to win the Travelers. Who do you like? Well, I'm going Xander. He's gonna. He, I'm going back-to-back -back segments. He's trying to go back-to-back -back, uh, at this golf tournament, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I think he gets it done. It's it's a, a better field than it was last year, just because this is an elevated event. But again. He's been awesome from tee to green. He's not going to have the, um, you know, you heard Scotty Scheffler talking about uh, playing well and the emotional weight that comes with that. Xander won't have that because he kind of fell out of the mix over the weekend. I think that'll serve him well, and he gets another win at uh, the Travelers Championship this weekend. Kyle Porter getting us ready for the Travelers Championship. Kyle, thank you so much. Now, for more from Kyle, you got to check out the First Cut podcast, First Cut, taking you inside the ropes of the golf world, the PGA Tour, and beyond. Their latest pod, it is a 2023 Travelers Championship mega preview. Subscribe where you listen to your favorite pods or scan that little QR code today.